Well, staying with precious metals because the police and electricity companies are using new technology to catch metal thieves and disreputable scrap dealers. Yes, the authorities are seeing an epidemic of cable thefts as the world price of copper hovers close to an all-time high. In one case, more than a mile of heavy cables been stolen before it could even be switched on. And today, another theft put a whole wind farm out of action. James Robeson reports. On a windy day, wind turbines clearly not turning. Thieves have stolen earthing cable from Lindhurst Wind Farm south of Mansfield, and all five turbines are affected. But this is not the only Nottinghamshire site thieves have targeted. Today, in a Nottinghamshire wood, engineers were putting over a mile of cable back underground. The original wiring, capable of carrying electricity at 33,000 volts, was stolen in May just before it went live. They dragged it out using maybe a 4x4 four four or some winch type equipment. Either way, on the night in question, they had six tonnes of material away. The cost to us is into several hundreds of thousands of pounds. You can see the valuable metal in the centre of this cable. This piece alone, the copper's worth about £20, and the thieves got away with the equivalent of six drums of it. That's about 2.4 kilometres. The distribution company is going to extensive lengths to protect the cable. This is being sprayed with smart water before it goes underground, but at selected urban sites in the Midlands, trip wires have been set up which, if tripped, spray thieves with smart water which can be spotted under ultraviolet light on clothes and skin for weeks. Message to the criminals, if you're cutting metal and it's been smart watered, your tools, your clothing, your car, your home will be infected and contaminated with that smart water. We will identify you to that, that crime scene and prosecute you and put you before the courts. Thieves are targeting copper because after dropping in price three years ago, it's risen again steadily till it's now well over £5,000 a tonne. This time, this cable will be guarded until it goes live and the police are working with the wind farm owners to improve their security too. James Robeson, East Midlands Today, Nottinghamshire.